Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'll discuss the interior and exterior lighting of the Hevel H6. I'll provide a detailed demo of all the available lights in the Hevel H6 model. Additionally, I'll cover various lighting settings available through the main screen. Finally, I'll show you how Hevel's headlights work in different driving conditions, including suburban areas, streets, highways, and even rural roads. Before I begin, if you enjoy watching my videos, I request you to subscribe to my channel. Numerous upcoming videos are in the pipeline and you wouldn't want to miss them. Let's come back to our topic. First, let me show you how Havel's interior looks in the dark. You can see these designs on the dashboard. They are illuminated in red. The doors also have similar work which has the same effect. All the controls are highlighted as well. Camel lights are bright white LEDs and it's more than enough to read anything. This is the switch to turn on roof light when the door is open. We also have lights on sun visor. It's available on both the sides, driver as well as passenger side. Back seats control for windows and lights are also highlighted. Here also we got white LEDs light on the both sides. And you can comfortably read any book. Let's see exterior light now. This is the daytime LEDs. It looks good on this car. Clearance light on backside remains on when the car is switched on. This is how LED indicators work in daytime. We have LED indicators on side mirror as well. When the door gets open, bottom lights on side mirror gets turned on. Let's see the trunk now. We have one LED light which gets turned on when the tailgate is opened. Enough to see everything. And this is your back clearance light in night time. These are the LED indicators in the night time. This one is one of the best looks of this car. Tail light with hazard lights on. Brake lights are very bright in the night time. Let's see how the light control works. And clearance light, manual, not over. And this is the fog light. So this will turn on the fog light. And this doesn't do anything. This is the clearance light in the night time. It's not enough to drive with these. This is the main headlight. A very bright LED. Here I have turned on the clearance light and the fog light. Just to let you know you cannot turn on the fog light without turning on the clearance or main headlight. This one is combination of main headlight plus fog light. It gets very bright when we turn on both the lights. Now let's see what settings are available for the lighting. To access the light settings you need to go to the vehicle settings. Then touch on lights. First setting is about time. Power saving delay time. This works when you have manually turned on the headlight and forgot to turn it off. So the system will turn off the lights as per this setting. Roof light timing. This one works when you activate roof lights for the door opening. You can choose different timing for it to turn off when the door is closed. Next is leaving light timing. This is also called follow me home function. A very good feature. You can set the time here for headlights to remain on after locking and leaving the car. This can be useful in dark parking areas. As you can see my car is locked 
but still headlight and tail light remains on for 30 seconds. The next setting is mode. Here we have sport mode light on and off. I could not figure out the difference between these two. If you are aware then please let me know as well. And the last setting is point car mode. Here you can choose how do you want to locate your car. Honking plus flash, only honking or only flash. I need to locate my car. I just need to hold this. Let's go for a drive now. This is within suburb where we have few street lights on. This is on one of the main roads with traffic coming. This one is on highway where no street lights on. And the last one is on a very remote area. It's on gravel road where no sign of a street or residential lights. I also turned on the high beam for your reference. As you can see the headlights work very well in dark areas and you can see clearly without any problem. This is it from my side. I hope you liked this video. If you have any questions then please ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching.